Cynthia Jones with Owl Magazine, and we're at Eden Mill. This used to be an operating mill back in the 1900s, but now it's a nature park. Let's get back to nature with Eden Mill. So you're going to find a larger diversity of plants and animals. Um, and one of the ways here at Eden Mill that we like to do that, first we have the Nature Center. In here you get the, I guess, the initial opening of your eyes to what could be found in the area. Like most people don't realize there's black bears around here. They don't realize there's river otter, coyotes, gray foxes, red fox. I could just keep going on and on. And we get the name Eden Mill because for 200 years this was a grist mill that met the needs of the community. And coincidences too, the grist mills became a center of recreation for the population back 100 years ago too. This is where they congregated. Um, so it's kind of interesting, now we are a center of activity for folks also. We have about 10,000 people a year coming to visit us for various programs and so forth. And a lot of things in nature people aren't comfortable with. And by coming here, they can learn about them, grow a comfort from them, and then become stewards of the environment. And hopefully that's, we've helped Hartford County, the diversity come back by the more people we open doors to and awaken and realize that, wow, snakes are part of what we need. I don't have to love them, but they do need to be here. That's our job, is to interpret nature, to let folks know what's going on, let them take some of their myths and, and move them out of the way. Take a hike on the trails or enjoy the beautiful waterfall. Welcome to Kilgore Falls. Falling Branch is home to Kilgore Falls, the second tallest waterfall in Maryland, stretching up to 17 feet. On 67 acres of land previously unknown to those who didn't privately own it, it was added to Rock State Park in 1993.